Ciao mondo. Hello world. Hola mundo. Hello mondo. Here we are back with my cappuccino on Friday morning. I just came back yesterday night from Iran. Very interesting experience. I have been teaching at the international meeting organized by the Iranian Society of Nephrology. My topic was fluid management and dose delivery in continuous renal replacement therapy. There is an increasing interest on how to manage patients with cardiorenal syndrome. Before to tell you about cardiorenal syndrome, today I would like just to tell you how everything started. First of all, I, want, I always wanted to be a cardiologist and uh, for different reasons I ended up to be a nephrologist, but I was always interested in cardiovascular physiology. Then it came up that my son graduated in medicine and he told me he wanted to be a cardiologist. And after a few years now, he is an interventional cardiologist. So one day I woke up and I said, what can I do to spend some time with my son? And it came to my mind that a cardiorenal syndrome could be a good field of interest for both. So I went to the internet. No way, there was no definition for cardiorenal syndrome. And at this point, if you are not on the internet, you do not exist. So it came to my mind that there is no definition for cardiorenal syndrome. And therefore, what I did, I started writing a paper, a review, just based on my memories of physiology and working with my son days and nights to set up a new classification of cardiorenal syndrome. We came up with the definition and we came up with a new classification into five types dividing acute and chronic cardiorenal syndromes, acute and chronic renal cardiac syndrome, and finally a type 5, which is a simultaneous renal and cardiac involvement in systemic disease. It turned out that I presented in uh, San Diego this classification, and Tony DeMaria was present, the editor of Jack. Immediately he asked me to prepare a manuscript for Jack, which today is one of the most cited manuscripts in Jack and in cardiology, the classification definition of cardiorenal syndrome. From that moment, we started to move towards a consensus uh, a conference that we did in Venice uh, with the Acute Dialysis Quality Initiative in 2008, and then in 2012, we did the second consensus conference on pathophysiological mechanism leading to heart and kidney damage in the cardiorenal syndrome. Today, this is a really hot field, which is populated by pathophysiological hypotheses, new biomarkers, new mechanism of organ damage and repair. And I think that the cardiorenal syndrome is an interesting field also for the years to come. So for today is enough. We will have more information in the next cappuccino with me. But for today, have a nice weekend.